Welcome back, everybody, for some more Victors and Vanquished. We've now entered the 1200s, and I think we have an achievement here. Um, dip, 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 dip. Ah, here we are. United we fall. Obtain four allies before the Mongols arrive in Mstislav 1203. This one, I don't remember much about it. Like, this is one of the older scenarios, so I, I definitely played it before. I don't remember much other than you get attacked by a big Mongol army at the end. That's honestly all I remember. <laughs> Mstislav surveyed the noisy and smoke-filled hall crowded with his distant relatives. He wondered if he would be safer pursuing the Cumans across the steppe than staying in that room. At least the Cumans would have the decency to stab him when he was looking. Ostensibly, the crowd had come to congratulate him on his many victories and his marriage to the daughter of the Cuman warlord, Kotian. Never heard of him. Mr. Slav knew that though he was the man of the hour, that fame would come with expectations. Very expensive expectations. His uncle, also named Mstislav, came to him, bowing in a way that showed his discomfort of being lesser status than his young nephew, at least for the moment. Grabbing his arm, and with a knowing nod, he reminded his nephew that the treacherous Vesevolod the Red still ruled in Kiev. Of course, the elder continued, a good nephew would use his great fame to restore his generous uncle to power in that city. The younger Mstislav nodded. Then came two sons of Vsevolod the Big Nest, a prince a whose power <laughs> and realm had been large, but not large enough for his eight sons. His ambitious progeny had been causing headaches across all of Rus for many years. Now these two, Yaroslav and Konstantin, came asking for help to depose their own brothers from two northern principalities. Mstislav nodded again. Hours later, as the celebration ended, he glanced over to his wife, sheepishly smiling at the nobleman paying her a bit too much attention. What did this Cuman Khan's daughter know of the politics of the Rus? Her people were simple. In the eastern steppe, the rules were uncomplicated. The strong ruled and the weak perished. And yet, Mr. Snuff wondered, why had a step people like the Cumans not yet demolished the squabbling and divided Rus? But it was only a momentary thought. Mstislav had more pressing matters. He had made many promises tonight. That was a much longer intro than most of the ones in the DLC. The the Victors and Vanquish intros have usually just been, hey, here's the this person and uh, here's vaguely what's happening. Go have at it. This is much more trying to establish a narrative. Which I appreciate. I mean, I think in general custom campaigns are way over long in their intro slides, but... You know, it's it's a balance to strike. Uh, defeat the troublesome Druzhina. You begin with a population limit of 25 that increases as you capture villages and fortified camps. A prince leaves land management to subordinates. Your villagers are already assigned to their tasks so you can concentrate on leading the troops in battle. Each Rus's ally provides a different civilization's unique technologies and a retinue of unique units. Consider these rewards when planning on who to attack first. Uh, each allied Cuban tribe provides five free elite Kipchaks at the castle. You can build a large Kipchak army. Find and fight with your uh, Bogatir. They can become powerful heroes. Use the terrain to your advantage. River crossings and forest passes make good blocking positions. If your city falls, fight on. The Rus princes have defeated many nomads by withdrawing to friendly cities wearing down and barriers. Uh, Mrs. Love the Bold defends a central position in small lengths surrounded by uh, rival princedoms. By defeating his rivals and placing his own allies on the thrones of these princedoms, he will lead a powerful coalition of Rus princes. Uh, Vesselod the Red rules Kiev just to the south across the Dnieper River. The city is a shadow of its earlier might, having been conquered and sacked many times over the centuries. Nonetheless, its position as the historical capital of the Rus attracts many boyars to serve whoever rules it. Uh, Sviatoslav Vesovolodich, uh, can you guys tell I don't speak Russian, <laughs> has been elected by Novgorod's council to be the prince of this northern city. The Novgorodians have a strong militia and effective town defenses. Uh, the city's cavalry are skilled in fighting with heavily armored warriors, such as boyars, and are inspired by, uh, okay, so they're Lithuanians. Uh, Sviatoslav's brother Yuri commands Vladimir, a princedom that defends the northeastern approaches, uh, with resilient warriors fighting from fortified Krepost. Uh, okay, so they're Bulgarians. The young... 
Danilo Romanovic rules Halic to the southwest, a princedom influenced by the Polish culture along its borders. So the plains around the support, they have uh, full of Arki and stuff like that. And they, yeah. Finally, the Cumans are a nomadic people from the southeastern fringes who have always been a nuisance to the princes of the Rus. There are rumors of a great invasion further east, however, uh, that has weakened the Cuman heartlands and forced people to flee west. What could cause uh, just such a disturbance is yet unknown. Hmm. Unknown invaders in the orange as the Mongols. Oh, wait. Oh, Sutrusian are just sergeants. They must be punished. All right, so we have Mstislav the Bold here. Also, I completely forgot the achievement. <laughs> uh, obtain four allies before the, the Mongols arrive. Okay, so we do have to act, uh, you know, fairly quickly. We have two relics. What a bloody way to end a wedding night. But there is now much to do. Two okay, so I can't select villagers. Nest have asked you to depose their own brothers in Novgorod and Vladimir. Your uncle lays claim to Kiev. And you have unfinished business with your own rival, Prince Danilo of Halic. Prepare the Drugina, gather grain for the campaign, and raise the banners of war. Okay, so we have some regular Slav stuff. We got Boyars, Discounted Siege, Infantry. I mean, Boyars, Infantry, Monks. There are many villages, monasteries, and fortified camps that can be captured by clearing them of enemies. Okay. Capturing them will provide resources, relics, military buildings, and other benefits. Uh, let's get some monks. I feel like getting some conversions and being able to heal up early on would be really helpful. A is a great hero destined to Evpati Kolovrat. Find Bogata like this one and use them in battle. The uh, let's get a scout. Bogata achieves, the more his legend will grow. I mean, finding relics sounds like it's going to be really important. Loyal retainers who guard their prince's territory. Armed with shield and axe, they can be trained from tower. Wait, towers? Ah, so they can. Alright, um, we'll do that then. And since we do need to act quickly, I'm even that much more incentivized to, uh, start going for some speed upgrades. And I guess we get more vills there. Anyway, let's just start scouting where the uh, the bad guys aren't. Ah, yeah, see, we get a couple more Lumberjanes. Alright. Um... Guess we can also start to increase our Boyar numbers. It would be wasteful to destroy lands your ally will soon rule. Instead, target your enemy's castles. If a castle is Oh wow, they've already got a lot of upgrades. Will surrender. I think maybe going around like this. I don't really feel like I want Hussar upgrades. Varangians. What are these guys? It says they're neutral. But they're not like marked out on the minimap as like a force I need to control. These Varangians have come from the north to serve in Constantinople. They ask that you show them the way south. They may also oh. fight for you for a time, but their future lies with the Emperor. Well, um I guess for the time being we'll have them fight with us. And and if by the time we make it south, they are uh, still and he's still alive, then we can go after that. Let's 
Do some converting. Guess we can get some extra farmers over here. Alrighty. Let's get another... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to take the territory to increase our population. Yeah, I mean, it can't even get there easily. Maybe there's a crossing over there? Alright. Come on, Vominos. Faster moving monks is also pretty nice. Oh. Do I get these guys? I wonder if there's a point to me killing them. At the very least, we're converting the boyar. Oh, that was part of that one. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, my units. Yeah, 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 you go back. Oh, look at the humans. I gotta say, just like the the wording and all of that does a really good job of setting up the, uh, the unknown looming terror. Oh, forgot. Whatever. All right, more scouting. Humans have been arriving from the east, claiming to be fleeing from a great and ruthless enemy. Their warriors pledge to serve you if you give them food to feed their families. Tribute 500, food... Okay, we have banking. The humans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. Yeah. Get human mercenaries. Finding some relics would be nice, though. Right, forward. Yeah, I like the uh, the humans sporadically fleeing to the west. Oh, let's not go too far over there. Alright, onward and upward. Come on, there we go. Yep. Ox wagon getting stuck. Oh, relic. Oh, and also a bogatir, Al Alyosha Popovich. Pick up you. Alright. Got a couple more monks over here. Let's bring them over. Um, okay, so we have elite Kipchaks, but we're going to want to get some upgrades for them. The oh, another relic. Asking for food. They say they were forced to leave their livestock behind, so great was the threat from the east. Well, let's see what that can do for you. The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. Oh, but we're pop capped. Uh, let's go back up that way. Oh, yeah. So, we very well may have to uh, try the scenario multiple times, just because I have no idea how much time we have before the Mongols show up.
Oops. Also, everyone's in the castle age except for the uh, the Mongols. Oh, sorry, the unknown invaders. M my apologies. The Norsemen have taught your infantry how their chieftains fight against men on horse. Oh, sick. Okay, get you. Um, how many Zerks do I have left? I have ten. I have no idea how many I started with. Oh, I put those guys on the hotkey I had this guy on. Because I am not the brightest at times. Okay, um... You guys go back up this way. I mean, I'm not going to say it's coming down to, like, what routes I should be taking. Okay, if we just do this, let's see how much this works. The stories the humans tell do not seem believable. Oh, boy. They claim that a great horde has risen from the Far East and has already conquered many distant empires. Yeah, they do that. Uh, I guess we'll get you. Obviously, no thumb ring as Slavs. And then maybe I'm going to start to need to build up my... Uh, my siege and stuff. Uh, or maybe we need to go this way. Get these camps along the way. I mean, we need to get everybody before the Mongols arrive, but, I mean, let's just see how far we can get. I mean, worst case scenario, I need to do some editing just to be like, oh, okay, we're going to run this route this time and all that. I'm not too worried about that. I'm way ahead of schedule. What video came out today? Uh, Fine Hair Part 1. So think how long ago that was if you're watching this live. <laughs> like a couple weeks. Oh, still do need to bring you guys on board. Oh, wait, wait, when, when did those guys get Imperial Age? Okay. Uh, I don't know how we get Imperial Age. Uh, yeah, no university. Right. Let's get some more cubes. are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. Uh, I see a siege workshop here. I hope they don't have anybody in it. Oh, what did the Berserks do? I completely didn't realize that. Whoa, uh-oh. Uh, yeah, those were late shy. Who my army does not deal well with. Oh, we're an imp too. Okay. Um, it's kind of weird how we just kind of got imp. Warriors from the surrounding countryside muster at camps like this one to defend Rus from marauding nomads. Still. Imp upgrades are going to be very expensive. Wait, why aren't you healing anybody? Oh. 
Those are elite Leichai. Oh boy. Novgorod has been a free city since the days of Vladimir the Great. Svatyoslav Sevolodovic has the support of the city's militia, giving him superior spearmen and skirmishers. His cavalry is also well suited to fighting armored boyars. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get back over here. We got four relics. We don't have a market. The Northmen who came through your lands before have returned. Oh. They say that Constantinople is held by French crusaders. Nonetheless, they Alrighty. send you gold based on their number. Uh, okay. Guess we'll go for Elite Boyar. Oh. Uh, maybe we can send the Kipchaks over this way. Grain and meat is a small price to pay for the support of human tribes. They will be a powerful army under your command. Okay, well. That's not doing a whole lot, is it? What's going on over here? Uh, just a few units. Kiev has been victim to many conquests and sackings, but remains the capital of Rus in the hearts of all loyal Drujina. If the Sevalod the Red can be deposed, your uncle will be a powerful ally in this city. Oh, whoops. Still, like, these Kipchaks are getting very bad upgrades with Slavs. I don't want to really rely on them too much. Okay, whatever. Let's... Let's start going for green. care about that now, do I? <laughs> like, if I can start training Leichai, that's gonna be real good for us. Anyway, I need to see if there are more relics or bogatiers or whatever. Not sure what that sound was, like a CG sound. Anyway, we just need to break in enough to snipe their castle. Or not even snipe the castle, just get the castle to half HP or something. Oh, I guess since this is on the way, we might as well get it. The humans are thankful. And pledge to serve you in battle. Okay, yeah, they just get more upgrades over time, I notice. Oh, a Bogatir. Where? Oh, 
Oh! Here, Muromets. I don't even remember sending the person this direction. Um... Humans are thankful and pledged to whoa, serve whoa, whoa. in battle. No, 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 no. Onagers, uh oh. All right, try and bait him this way. I need to buy some time. Oh, and they're sniping Vils too. I didn't know they attacked Vils. More humans arrived, telling the entire army surrounded and banquet. Whole tribe sold into slavery. As fierce as the humans are, whatever has driven them to flee must be spawned from hell itself. You know it. All right. Oh, I have an idle bill that I literally can't get rid of because I can't select it. Siege onagers, awesome. Wait, what are you guys doing? No, 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 we need you in. This isn't the time for pathfinding issues. Oh, well, I'm just not going to be able to train sergeants in a moment, so I guess it's good that I didn't get the elite upgrade. I can just go for champions. Your people are distressed by the arrival of so many humans. They are urging action to be taken against them. Whatever enemy is in the distant east is less threatening than the hordes already at your gates. Oh, don't be such a hater. Or ignore the demands from your people. Yeah, we're not even at our max pop yet. To lose all human allied tribes, but will grow your support from your people. Receive plus 25 population. Okay, at least their castle's at only 4,800 HP. You know what? Just to show my solidarity with her Humans are thankful. human bros, we're going to do that. You have forced Novgorod's town council to depose Sviatoslav and place his brother Yaroslav in control of the city. Okay, do I get Lechai? Wait, is there another relic over here? I think. Wait. Improving spearmen and skirmishers. Yes. Good. Oh, there it is. Uh, do I have a monk left over here? Oh, there is the, the dude. Uh, I guess we can't train Lechai. Alas. It would be pretty nice to be able to train Lechai, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, how could I forget that I can't click on my idle bills? Whoa, 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 whoa. The young prince Danilo Romanovich rules Halic on the borders with Poland and Hungary. 
His lands are rich in oh. agriculture and provide pastures for large cavalry armies. Okay, awesome. You're going up against uh, Yuri over there. Mm, that is a lot of elite Konex. Still, our boyars should be good against that. Sure. I mean, just draw those armies away. Oh, I, I just have some Leichai in my army. Okay, they do have uh, Bagginses. Vladimir has always defended the eastern approaches to Rus lands with Kreposts, well armored infantry, and resilient warriors. Yuri Vsevolodovich will be a challenge to depose from this well defended frontier. Try and bait their armies a little bit here. Monks would be a very welcome addition to my army, but what can you do? Anyway, hopefully we'll get you now. You have deposed Yuri Vsevolodovich. And placed his brother hey guys, Ornlu from the future here. As it turned out, I was hoping I could do Mstislav in one part, but it just got a little too long for that. So I'm going to be cutting it here, and next time we are going to do uh, finish up the episode. So thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.